Hi there, my name's Vince from MyMateVince.com and in this video today I'm going to show you how you can remove the corrosion from your battery terminals on your toys if a leakage has occurred. So a lot of people end up throwing their toys away when if you just spend about 10 or 15 minutes on it often you can clean those battery terminals and then your toy will continue to work. So if we have a look at this little M&M character here if we turn it on it should be a radio but there's nothing happening. And it's got new batteries in it and that's because in here we've had a very bad leak. So when this was stored away, obviously the batteries weren't taken out of it. And if you have a look here on the left hand side where my thumb is, can you see how corroded that terminal is there? Now I've picked a really bad one for the video, just as a bit of a challenge. Now this top one here has only very slight corrosion, but that could be enough to stop the contact, but that would be an easy one to fix. But this one here is gonna be very hard. So what we have to do is we have to actually use on this particular one, white vinegar. And the reason why is because white vinegar is slightly acidic. Now if you have a look at these batteries here, these are little triple A batteries, you will see that it says here that they are an alkaline. Another example here, alkaline battery. So with an alkaline battery, that's got a high pH. So to neutralize it, because otherwise it, the uh, corrosion will continue to eat away at it, to neutralize a high pH, we have to use a low pH. So white vinegar is slightly acidic, which is a low pH. So hopefully it will neutralize the high pH alkaline. Now, if you were doing something different like a car battery, which is acid based, then you would have to use an alkaline such as baking soda. So on an acid type battery, use an alkaline baking soda. On an alkaline battery, use an acid white vinegar. And what we're gonna be doing is basically using a Q-tip in some white vinegar and rubbing it around the corrosion. We're also then gonna be scraping away the rust as well. In this video, I'm gonna be using a little cheap fiber pen that you can get off eBay for a couple of pounds. So it's like a fiberglass pen. Or a lot of people just use a screwdriver to scrape away, you know, just a, a blade or something to scrape away the corrosion. Now you've gotta be a little bit careful because when you scrape away the corrosion, chances are you're gonna scrape away most of the plating that's on the battery terminals as well, because you know normally they're nice and, uh, nice and shiny. And then what will happen is it will tarnish over time again. So this is never gonna be as good as when it was new because look, it's nice and shiny, but when we scrape it back, we're gonna bring it back to its base metal and then it's gonna oxidize and tarnish over the coming months and years and you get to the stage where it's a bad contact again. What you can, you can use in that case is some silicone grease just to give it a little coating. Some people also use a little bit of Vaseline as well. So that's what we're gonna be doing in this video. Now, if the corrosion's really, really bad, such as in this little handheld device here, if you have a look at this one, you can see the spring's been completely eaten away. Yeah, so it's gone missing. So the best job there would be to clean it up and fit new springs. Again, you can get these from places like eBay very, very cheaply. And then you can see that's a nice clean contact again. Now if you wanted to do a bit of a, a bodge job then what you could do is instead of using a spring you could put the batteries in there and you could actually use tin foil because again kitchen foil is going to conduct the electricity. Now I'm not saying it's a good job but it will work if you were to put that in around the spring, fold it up really small, compress it down, then that will also make the, make the contact when you put it all back together. But in this video here, what we're gonna be using is white vinegar on a Q-tip, and we're gonna be rubbing it around here and then using the fiberglass pen. Now, to make it quicker, I'm gonna be fast forwarding through this process, but you will see exactly what I'm doing. Now, I'm gonna be wearing safety glasses because there's chances that these bits of rust and stuff can flick up. I'm also gonna be wearing gloves as well. to put a bit on because I don't want to saturate it otherwise the vinegar is going to get inside the actual toy itself so the best way would be to completely take it apart but obviously most people are not going to do that Right, this is so badly corroded I am going to use a screwdriver on this because the fiberglass brush just isn't quite strong enough I'm just using a little flathead screwdriver. I'm gonna use a bit of IPA. 
So 99.9% .9 alcohol to give it a final clean and to evaporate off any of the, the water. While well, that's drying, I'll just show you the absolute mess that it made. So you can see all this uh, dirt here, also on the paper here. And more importantly, if you look at these Q-tips, completely covered. That looks like it's dried now. I'm just going to pop some batteries in just to see if it works and then if it does I can put the silicone grease in. If it doesn't it will need further cleaning. Hey, hey. Excellent. Right, okay, so we've got power there now. So I'm going to put the silicone grease in. Now if you haven't got this then I think some people do use Vaseline. Petroleum jelly. But this stuff's supposed to be better. going to put it on any of the others because they've still got their plating on there it's just that this one which is completely gone so this will just give it a little bit of protection and there we go you can see now the red M&M is now working. Right, okay, so a uh, bit of work and you can see that you will be able to get your old toys fixed up again. So there's no point in throwing them away and putting them into landfill when you can use them again. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe for more how-to videos. Take care. Bye now.